We're going to start with a rack of lamb here. I know everybody's going, oh, rack of lamb, I can never make that. You want to see this? You want to impress your friends, your family, or your day? Okay, this is a French cut rack of lamb, meaning that they've trimmed the whole thing, all right? They've taken out all the little meat that isn't edible and trimmed the fat off of it. The first thing we're going to do is sear it to seal in the juices and the flavor. So I've got some hot oil over here. We're going to sear the meat here. Oh, you can hear it sizzling. And this is going to lock in the flavors. It's going to cook off a little of the extra fat. And it's going to make it nice. Look at that, nice and brown. This is a little bit of olive oil in here. And we're just going to brown this in preparation for the roasting. Oh, look at that. Nice sizzling, popping, yummy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rub some mustard on it. And that's going to hold in the flavors as well. And it's going to hold on our breadcrumbs. So just take a spoon and rub it around. And this is just Dijon mustard out of a jar. OK, so far so good, right? It's easy, right? OK. Now, this is our herbed breadcrumbs. And if you want to see how to make these, just reference that video. We have herb breadcrumbs video. We're just going to dip it in all over. And these are fresh herbs in breadcrumbs. They already have salt and pepper in them, so we're not going to add any additional seasoning. We're going to just hold it here for a second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the sides, all right? We're going to take these little cipollini onions. Look how cute they are. This is what they look like before they're peeled, and this is what they look like peeled. These are very sweet, and we're going to use them whole. Oh, maybe we'll half them. Yeah, we'll half them. We're going to have them, and these are going to sit on the bottom, and it's going to caramelize with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, and a little bit of brown sugar while the lamb is cooking on top of it. And all of those lamb juices are going to co-mingle. Yeah. Let's talk about co-mingling here. They're going to co-mingle with these wonderful flavors of the onions and the butter. OK, we're going to add a little olive oil. Just a sprinkle and a little butter. Just a little, just for flavor. You know, you don't need to use a lot of butter when you're cooking. Just a little bit adds that buttery flavor. And we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of brown sugar to help caramelize those onions. Now we're going to just lay our rack on top. That was easy. It's going in the oven. This will cook for about 15, 20 minutes. It's very, very small. Uh, preferred medium rare. If you like it more well done, maybe you want to go on this 20 to 25 minutes. Just be careful. OK. At the end of two hours, we have Mama's chicken, just roasted with salt, pepper, and pap paprika. We have rack of lamb cut into lamb chops. When you cut this up, all you have to do is cut between the bones and it will easily slice. This was cooking for 20 minutes. And we have a whole filet roast with bacon, with garlic. And the dressing that I've made is mustard and horseradish. Just mix it together in the combination you like. It's wonderful on meat. We have potatoes and onions that have been roasted in olive oil with seasoning, root vegetables, which by the way, you don't have to eat now. These are great in salads, or if you want to marinate them with a little dressing, also lovely. And our wonderful strawberry, tomato, arugula salad, where the sweet and the savory blend together and complement all of the dishes here. So if there's anything you want to know about these dishes or anything else, please write to me on my site.